Let's talk about habits. It's quite amazing that we humans tend to either consciously or unconsciously pick up these kind of habits that in the end just starts to run our lives. It, it's kind of how we all do it and it's, and it's normal. But a lot of these habits might just be limit, limiting ourselves from doing the things that we really, really like to do. So these are my top 10, or not even top 10, but these are my 10 tips on successful habits for bounty hunters. So one great thing to do is that if you, when you wake up in the morning, that is something we all do, so it's, it's an easy thing to add up. Instead of thinking that, oh man, this is a crappy day, it's a good way to start the day with being just grateful to be alive. Even though it's a pandemic going on and you know everything's just not being the way you want it to be, it's a very easy thing to set an intention for the day by just waking up and saying, man, today feels great. It's gonna be a great day, no matter what. And one thing that's really important as well is that, let's say that you wanna accomplish something. It's, it's a good thing to define goals. In bug bounties, um, defining a clear goal or defined goal versus a vague one would be, uh, let's, I, I would like to find a bug today. That would be a vague one. But a more defined approach would be to uh, just simply say, I would love to find a SSRF bug, full SSRF in a URL parameter that will give me the AWS metadata back. That's a very defined goal on what you, what you want to achieve. Because the key here is to be extremely specific. If you're tricking your mind into accomplishing things, it's kind of great to be very certain about what you want. But the vagueness of saying, I would like to find a bug, isn't really going to help you on this track. And when you're done with that, just get outside. I know, I know it's a pandemic going on, but mask up, put on a pair of shoes, and just go outside. First thing in the morning. Just get out, walk around for 20 minutes. That's 20 minutes of your time where you focus and put that intention into that thing that you wanna accomplish. Let's get back to the SSRF bug. So if I'm gonna hunt for a specific kind of bug that day and I'm very, very interested in finding that, I'm just gonna think in, and just prepare myself for the feeling that I have when I find it. That excitement that just, mm, it fires, it hits my collaborator or my out-of-band server, and I know it's a, it's a full hit. It, it, it's just not a DNS hit, it's a full hit. It's requesting, I can see the header, I can see all the stuff in my request, and I'm like, yes, that, that's it. And if I can do that, if I can put that feeling into my body while I'm doing my 20 minutes walk, that's kind of like forcing manifestation into itself because I'm, th I'm very clear what I want and I'm getting that physical experience on how it feels to achieve that. So when you get back in again, now it's time to, let's say, let's say you drink coffee. I'm a vivid coffee drinker. Instead of just trying to think of all the other things that you need to do, prepare your cup of coffee in the most present manner that is possible. That means if you're grinding your beans or if you're using an AeroPress or a French press or something, that you're spending a total focus on just doing that, the task in hand. Let's say you're drinking tea, you're boiling the water, you water, you put it on the kettle, you put in your favorite Earl Grey kind of, I don't know, tea style in there, and you're letting it simmer, like let it sit for a while. Or if, you like, if you're into green juices, maybe that's your thing. Or if you just want to have bourbon for breakfast, hey, I, I guess choosing a good brand would be a good idea for you. Anyway, the whole idea is to be very mindful of that experience. It takes a very, very short time, but it's very good practice to really focus on just doing one thing. So what I would do next is then I, that I would just, so I will breathe in, pull my shoulders up and I will breathe out and I'll relax my shoulders to follow the breath out. And when that breath is done, instead of just directly just inhaling in again, I would just, I would, I would hang on the breath. So I'll breathe out. That short second, maybe two or three seconds before I inhale again, that's total silence. For me, that's one of the rare time my brain just 
relax it. Try it out for yourself. Breathe in. Breathe out. You breathe in again. And just try to find that focus of silence between the breaths. Hey, I just gave you a quick meditation. Enjoy that one. <laughs> and you just do that for three minutes. It's all it takes. It's about clearing the mind, getting out of your head. And now when your beverage is done, find a place where you can sit down for a second and take a piece of paper. Uh, paper. I will prefer that you had some kind of calendar or journal. This is the hard part. And this is something that I struggle with, but it's the physical contact between pen, paper and your mind, because I love to write things down on um, uh, in, in my phone, right? But then as soon as I do that, it kind of just disappears. It's like if I had this certain item that I like, as soon as I put it in a drawer, I'm going to forget about it. So I need to have these things lying around so I can actually see what's going on. And what, what you're going to do now is that just just organize yourself, right? Write down the six things that you need to do for that day. And it could be any like basic tasks, like, okay, I'm gonna answer that specific email. I'm just gonna go to that specific restaurant for lunch. I'm just gonna, uh, today I'm gonna cook this kind of dinner or do whatever stuff. If you're working from home, it could be that you're cleaning your house or your room for 10 minutes or, or just taking that certain kind of breaks or if you're doing your work for somebody or if you're hunting for a bug, maybe just crafting that one-liner or crafting that extra word list is something that you put on that list. And, but it's not, not more than six things, six items. It's all that can be on the, this list. And that's your focus for the day. And then you just go on with the day. And when your day is over, you go back home again, or if you're, you're, you're leaving that work from home state where, you're, okay, I'm done working, I'm, now it's home time. And you prepare your meal or your dinner, or you just have a, you're just relaxing a bit. Then it's time to take that list out again. And you'll look it through. It's your six items, right? And you will see, okay, so I accomplished that. I managed to do that. But these, these three things I didn't do. Celebrate that success. You did three things. That's amazing. Because you don't need to do all of them. Because now it's time to put three other things on the list. It's not that it should be any more than six. Six is the important number here. So you add three more and you put those on the list too. So now you maybe have like, I need to do laundry and I need to write that word list and I need to write that newsletter and that kind of other stuff. You put those on your list because the next day when you make, wake up in the morning, you have your tasks set for you and you have already prepared yourself in the process of preparing for the next day. It's a great way for you to prepare your mind and just emptying it and being very focused on the task at hand. So if it is, let's say you, were, you want to learn a specific kind of bug class, or you want to practice a specific kind of hack the box, that's going to be on the list. If you complete that, that's all good. If you didn't, hey, there's, it, it's room for another day, right? You can do it then. And when you're doing that, when you have that list, a really good thing would be for you to journal about it. And yeah, this is once again one of those hard things that I tend to just procrastinate and not do, but it gives me so much value when I do it. So you write down the things that you accomplished that day and just, you see, it's like a offload in your mind. So you don't need to keep everything in your head all the time. And then you will write down three things that you were very grateful for that you achieved. It's that simple. Then you're rewarding yourself with, oh, I'm a, I'm, I'm a good boy. I did this amazing task. That's great. But I'm also being very kind about to, towards myself for either not completing or maybe completing tasks. It's a way to a little bit of self-love for you to just be nice to yourself. And by just writing things down on, on paper, you're gonna offload your mind a bit and it's gonna relax you. So I would definitely suggest you to do that. And that's it, you're done. Now it's time for you to just relax, play some video games, maybe hang out with the family or, you know, play with Legos. I don't know what you do. Anything that will reward you for doing the work. You put in the work, you done all the stuff, now it's time for you time. Because tomorrow is another great day and you're gonna blaze through it perfectly. And that's actually it, that's all. If you do these, if you do these things, all of them, for 21 days, you're breaking and creating a new habit. You're creating a new thing in your life. 
because I know you brush your teeth every day, right? And that's something that we're used to. And as an extra bonus here, I'm gonna challenge you. Next time you get into the bathroom to brush your teeth, do it on one leg. Try to see which one works best for you. Start with one, breathe in, stand on one leg and just lift your body upwards. Like try to imagine that you have a little bit like somebody's putting your hair up. So you stand there, you're longing yourself while you're brushing your teeth and try to stay really, really focused on the process of balancing. Once again, you're adding a little bit of practice and meditation into your life because you're focusing on doing something else while you're doing a mundane task like, yeah, like brushing your teeth right. Do that for a few days, switch over to the other leg and feel the difference. It's pretty amazing. Okay, until next time, stay curious.